This is the circuit of a Norton theorem and here we are verifying the Norton theorem by using Sumlink. The current source is of 10 ampere. Resistance R1 is 20 ohms, R2 is 20 ohms, R3 is 10 ohms and load resistance is of 50 ohms. Here we have removed the load resistance and we are computing the load current. So we can see that the value of the load current is 4.714 amperes after removing the load. So this is the Norton equivalent current IN and Norton resistance RN comes out to be 10 plus 20 ohm that is 30 ohms as this 20 ohm resistance will be neglected as we will open circuit the ideal current source of 10 ampere while computing the Norton equivalent resistance RN. This is the Norton equivalent circuit. This is the Norton current 6.66 ampere. This is RN 30 ohms and this is RL 50 ohms. After simulating this circuit we found out that the Norton equivalent current is 1.766 ampere and this current is equal to the current of the actual circuit. Hence, Norton theorem is verified.